They tell that story, true, not true, really not that important. The message is what's important. So the story is about the famous Anshul Rothschild, the first of the entire Rothschild dynasty, was a very pious, very religious Jew, and uh, he had to go urgently somewhere and turned out that his coach and coachman were not available. So he just borrowed his son's coach and his driver to take him where he had to go. Upon arrival, um, Antl gave the coachman a tip. Coachman looks at the tip and he says, with all due respect, sir, your son usually gives me a much bigger tip. Without missing a beat, Angel Rocher tells him, obviously, he has a rich father. The Orachai Makodesh asks a most interesting question on the parish of this week. Rebchaim Ben Atardas says, we find a tremendous difference between the life of Avram Avinu and the life of Yitzchak. Where Avram Avinu's life was full of challenges, Ten, this year in his ten challenges, including just about losing his son Yitzchak. Traveling huge, vast space during his lifetime. Yitzchak had, relatively speaking, an easy life. Yes, he had some difficulties, obviously. Stories of Esav and Yaakov. He became blind in the last 57 years of his life. But compared to Avraham, his life was uneventful. So Reb Chaim ben Atar asked the question, why? After all, they were both great tzaddikim, different in their ways of serving Hashem. Avraham served Hashem with love, Yitzhak served Hashem with awe, with fear. But they were both the Merkava Lelokus, the chariot for God. So why such drastic difference in their lifestyles, in their lives? So the Rachaim HaKadosh says, it's all in the Pesach of this week, Pesach of this week. Ve'ele toildois Yitzchok. Translation, and these are the generations of Yitzchok. But toildois can also mean the life experiences. Ve'ele toildois Yitzchok. And these are the life experiences of Yitzchok. And why were they as they were? Why were they, as we said earlier, relatively speaking, easy? To the point that the Pasuk says, Vayigdalo ish holar vegodel at kigodel moed. The man became great and he grew constantly greater and he had grown very great. The Torah testifies that Yitzchak had a successful life, so to say. Why was that? Because Avram holy des Yitzchak. Because Yitzchak had the benefit of having Avram Avinu as a father. With parents like Avram and Sarah, you're pretty well assured to have a great life. Avram didn't have this benefit. Avram's father was an idol worshiper. So the message to us is, we cannot choose our parents. We cannot assure the proper religious, appropriate behavior of our parents. But what we can and thus must assure that our children should have proper parents that our children should be like the Pesach says, Avraham hoilid as Yitzchak. Avraham gave birth to Yitzchak. That our children should be able to be proud of their parents. And by doing so, we assure continuity. And continuity all the way to Mashiach, to the Geula. And may God have help us for this to happen now.